Wow, everybody. So Mark from House of Hingus Comics um, uh, spent some time with me today kind of going over his uh, Octone Panzer rules that you see all of his videos made. Um, you can see his videos, great historic videos and games, um, and it was really cool. So we got on the, were able to get on and actually play a game via just Facebook Messenger. He said like a three by four table. It was an outpost scenario, so I'm just defending an outpost. And then he's coming in with a bunch of British. I'm Italian, um, higher level Italians, and it's really simple just to learn the rules, right? I mean, it was pretty straightforward what needed to happen. Fun time. I did all the dice rolling. He just basically moved and you know umpired it and showed me the cards that I had because he has in cards. So this is kind of unconventional, but I thought after the game, I just had him kind of give me his perspective of the game, kind of give an overview. The audio goes in and out. Obviously, I'm filming him on camera because I didn't really know how a way to record Facebook Messenger. So here it is. Um, thanks for watching. Anytime. Obviously, we're going to love to showcase this, and we'll be doing hopefully stuff. Like you and me doing a lot more sort of stuff, and hopefully we can put this out to the community as well, so they can share, play, and learn. But in this scenario, um, the rogue was charged with defending um, this outpost here. Uh, he has two infantry platoons, uh, some mortars, uh, these Brixia mortars here, which you can see here. And although this isn't a full-blown set on the table or anything. Uh, this was just a testing game, uh, and the British were attacking effectively with, uh, well, although he didn't know it at the time, just an infantry company. But in turn three, a number of events occurred, including the arrival of the tanks, which then just ran through the infantry and was straight in onto this position. And it was a desperate, desperate defence. They brought the solid horn up, but for some reason today, uh, even though uh, sh at that sort of range she should have knocked the tanks out, she stopped them for a moment uh, and then smoke came down and under the cover of smoke we had an assault over this ridge by the Scots who charged into this position. But uh, Todd had been quite wise and kept his infantry in reserve and they poured out of this building and charged and a huge melee took place in which his two IC went down. But uh, the British 1IC and platoon commander broke. So uh, it's been a really good tester. We've done it in about three and a half hours, and I've had to talk through the rules. Yep. Um, and I think it was very enjoyable. Uh, as I said, that reaction, not knowing what's going on. And when you're playing online as well, that remoteness, that you can't see everything, it was good. So what, what about you, Tom? What do you feel? And uh, feel free to comment as, as freely as you wish, I'll be. Yeah, so... Um, I mean, how did the battle go from your perspective? Um, it was really good. There's a lot of cool additions, like uh, a kind of a reaction test to see if you can see something or see tanks or hear something. So that's kind of cool. You can also kind of use some testing if, like, you think someone can't range in, like, a long-range site that we did one turn. Uh, you got cards... Just a couple, so it's not very many, and it's they're not super game-changing, although it was kind of game-changing, because I got some terrain affecting that back, that scree line back there. You can kind of see back here, I'm pointing at it on the screen, where it was soft ground, so that caused some troubles for Mark. Um, I mean, that was, that was where you played it up here, which was excellent. And, uh, of course, all the infantry on the top of that ridge, and the machine guns and mortars, and everyone trying to move around there, had to make uh, tactic tests or skill tests, and the whole of my heavy machine guns just basically did nothing really for the first uh, 25 minutes of the action because it's six minutes to turn. Yeah. But so yeah, quickly coming in about those cards, they are not decisive. They're not power playing cards. But like, remember when we got the sand and the visibility when it blew across the table? Yep. Um, and that was that visibility right here, right just when you didn't want it. Um, you know, it's just the way it happens, and, and the battle deck is really brilliant for friction. It cuts down on rules. You can do historical events in there, resupply, strange things occurring on the battlefield, which the whole point for me is to test you as a commander. We're not playing opposed play here. You know, wargaming isn't, as I've said, opposed play. It's about how did you react if you were the commander of that garrison. You did a bloody good job. You used the cards really well. You kept your reserve, you didn't panic, you didn't, 
you know, put your reserve out straight away, you held it, and you know, these machine guns placed on this flank, and then the overwatch that you put on here, it, it, you know, the British coming through this cover, you know, they couldn't really move forward, there was too many risks, and then the armour comes on, as I said, we made a reaction test, didn't we, and it was stopping ground, yep. and, um, and then they suddenly ploughed through there, um, but then you got the arrival of the signals, you know, that you didn't expect in the game, that suddenly battalion headquarters comes on with 105 millimeter guns, and they brought hell uh, into the Yeah, it helped. So yeah, good times. I'm gonna... So thank you so much, Mark from House of Hingus Comics. Go check out his channel. He's very historical, game focused, um, and go see what he's doing, um, and he'll be providing more information about the rules as he he and his team work on it and it's more of a fan created thing um than anything else and it's really i had a really great time so thanks a lot mark for the time and the time chatting see ya